listen, we don't see the competition. I drop off a ransom note that your art is missing, nigga. Uh -huh. Pays in full with the money, or she gon' get her fingers clipped off like Lil Sunny, huh? Uh -huh. M Rec TV. Pace, pace. Y'all know the M Rec room etiquette. We got the homie G Depp being released from prison. We got the video. We got the homie officially home eating that. I hop. Let's get right into it. You know I got an exclusive interview with him while he was in there. We're going to get to all that, and we're going to take calls. Let's get right to it. Say less. All right? Some of the video I might play mute, but I'm going to put some music in the backdrop because they got some copyright music going on. All right? So I'm going to take you to the homie being home, and then we're going to take up to the lead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Appreciate you, bro. Honorable dude. Yo, don't show up. Uh, we ain't doing no free advertisement. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. I'm proud of you, man. All right. It's the first free meal. All right. That's right. There you go. God bless. All right. Family, 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 family. Hey, come on, brother, kids, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Mama. We about to eat, have a little bit of food, and then get on the road. <laughs> All right. All right. We out. We out. He's home. He's home. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why are you hot? Show up, man. Show up. You showed up for me. Appreciate you, bro. Honorable dude. Yo, don't show up. We ain't doing no free advertisement. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. I'm proud of you, man. All right. I got another video of him being released. I'm about to pull it pull it up right now. Let's get it. Pound that like button. Welcome home to the homie G Depp. Hold on one second. I don't know where that audio came from. Uh we at. I got y'all. Bear with me, y'all. There we go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Santa> Claus. <laughs> I told you I was bringing you home, right? I told you bringing you home to get my hug. Boy, I'm sending you a greeting. Yeah. Hey. What's up, my man? I'm here. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. The deputy. Amen. Amen. That's terrible. I'm sorry. That's cool. I couldn't see. I could, I could, I could not. Well, we go. <laughs> the deputy. Crazy. Yeah. You're breathing it, right? The air is different. Right, because I said I was going to breathe, so. The air is different. Yeah. That's how Auntie know. Yeah. Auntie know. <laughs> the air is different. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. 
Oh, man. Let's All get right. it. Let's get it. This we is special do. delivery right here. We need it. Let's uh -huh. get it. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So we got G Depp release home free from doing 13, I believe. Uh, he turned himself in. Hold on one second, y'all. I don't know. Where's this audio coming from? Give me a second. Okay, that's what's happening. Uh, call me up 310 598 2974. Um, of course. I seen speculation out there. You know, people going to be um, people. You know what I mean? And people are saying, homie got home early because he allegedly put out information out there on Diddy. I disagree. I'm like, damn, homie went in there and did his time. That's how I feel. But, you know, you got the internet is the internet. People going to talk, people going to have speculation, but the main thing, homie is back home with his family, and, you know, it's a beautiful thing, man. You know, people take life for granted, right? And, hold on, let me refresh this. Man, where it go? Okay, uh, uh, hold on one second. People take life for granted, and... The main thing about it all, homie is home. Hold on one second. Let me get this on the screen, y'all. I'm trying to do a million things at one time. Because uh, so, uh, I know you're here to see the footage and we taking calls. I think the line is open. Let's get it. So, this is the homie G Depp being uh, released. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was bringing you home, right? I told you I was bringing you home. I thought it was in your breed. Yeah. Hey. What's up, my man? Come in, yo. Yo. The deputy. Amen. Amen. Let's go. I'm sorry. That's cool. I couldn't see. I couldn't. I could not. The deputy. <laughs> Yeah. You're breathing it, right? The air's different. I, I said I was going to breathe, so. The air's different. Yeah. That's how Auntie know. Yeah. Auntie know. <laughs> the air is different. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, man. Let's All right. get it. Let's get it. This we is special do. delivery right here. We need it. Let's uh -huh. get it. Let's get it. Yeah. The air is different. You, you understand how real it is? Like, homie was in the P now for 13 years. The air is different. The food is different. You know what I mean? Welcome home, G Dep. I'm going to go into shouts to the uh, new subscribers. Uh, I appreciate that. Also, we got the uh, Spooky Hours app. Um, I can't wait to hear some of G Dep new music because his flow was always crazy. That special delivery, that uh, that child of the ghetto, crazy. Man, I wish I could just play it because you know what's so crazy. I love, I love this hip hop thing, and I love when um good brothers get they just do. That man turned himself in for a murder that they didn't even have a suspect. And, you know, unfortunately, somebody lost their life, but homie took accountability. It turned itself in. I guess it was eating at his conscience. You know what I'm saying? That guilt, you know, is an mf -er. But nevertheless, we here. Salute to the wreck mob. Call me up. Let's talk about it, man. I, I, I feel like it's a lot of jail dudes that be calling my show. This is the time for you to call up. 
You know what I mean? The homie is home. Homie is free. So y'all got to be happy for this. And then anybody that enjoyed his music, that enjoyed that Child of the Ghetto album, that enjoyed his freestyles, his uh, features, you know, Black Rob, you know, through g Depp to Ali U. This the time for you to call. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all always calling me, talk, talking about all this jail stuff. Hold on. Pays. 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 Talk to me. How we doing? All right. Uh um let the, you know, let's 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 wish let's wish the brother all the you know, everything good. Yes, sir. That's, that's what, what that's saying. that's what I want that's what I wanna do. He he seemed to have went and cleansed his, you know, his soul, heart, you know, be it be it through man or God, you know, he turned himself in, right? Mm hmm You know. Hey man, shoot. Let's man, let's shoot. Let's 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 get this man his, you know, his flowers. Whatever, you know how we do. Wreck my appreciate yeah, you. You already Peace. know. Peace. Yep. Come on, let's keep the calls coming, man. G Depp need to hear this, man. You know, when you first come home of you know, from anywhere, but imagine from jail, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never really do no um no bed. But when you first come home, that man gotta be feeling like you know, he want to feel that love. You know, he, he got his family there, but it's the people that he put out music for. He want to feel that love from the fans, from the people that, you know what I mean? So let's give him that love. Peace, state your name, where you call him from, keep it clean. Let's get it. Peace, 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 peace. Rick Mob, shout out, shout out to Rick Mob and all the family, man. It's EMA Beats. From uh, Sacramento, California. What's going on, my brother? Salute. Yes, sir. Respect. Um, Respect. Man, I'm. I'm just. I, I just. Uh, I just seen it, man. And I. I hit the. I hit the YouTube, man. I called right in, man. I'm like, Mister. You know, Mister. Uh, Special Delivery himself, man. Yes. That's. That's a. That's a blessing, man. Uh, nice. Just. Uh, for, for the. For the. For the route that he took and what he chose to do, man. I, I personally don't know. Or I don't think anybody else would know anyone who would have done what he did. You know, it's a it's a fairly though though the you know what what the circumstances were and all that stuff. But for him to go and do that, man, it was just incredible. Um, on, on and so shout out to him, man, for coming home. And uh, I would say, man, let's let's protect you know uh, you know this brother, man. And I'm hoping that he's staying clear and far away from the you know from the from the dark energy and stuff like that, especially with him coming home. You know, it's kind of ironic that the situation with, you know, uh, what's his name is going on. And then now g Depp is home. So I just would like for him to be protected. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to put no, you know, I, I, I just I just want, you know, g Depp to be, uh, you know, in a safe space and stuff like that. And hopefully he's got, you know, family and people that's going to keep him secure and uh, allow him to rehabilitate and, and get back and be able to, you know, you know, to live, you know what I'm saying, as he should, you know. No doubt. No doubt, man. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you tapping in. Um, salute, family. And and do me a favor. Yes, get, sir. Get that Spooky Hours app out the Apple store. You know what I mean? And watch the whole oh, TV that's series. A, that's a bet. All right, my brother. Salute. Okay, okay. Thank you, family. Right. Yes, sir. You're Respect. welcome. Thank you. Respect. Call me up. I know I missed some calls. You know, let's get it. If I miss your call, um, you can leave it on your voicemail. I'll play it. Or you want to call back. Let's get it. Uh, nine. Five four five four eight. Matter of fact, I'm gonna um call people back. I'm calling you back from a six four six number. That's me. Six four six three nine seven number. So if you missed the call, I'm calling you back. Just pick up. That's me. Peace. Hello, hello. Yeah, you yeah, live. Peace, peace. You down, call, what's going on? You call Rec TV, right? Yeah, most deaf. Most okay. Deaf, son. Okay. So yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Let, let's do this. Hold on, hold on. State your name, where you calling okay. from, and keep it clean. Let's welcome G Depp home. Let's get it. Most deaf. Hey, hey, what's going down? No, I mean, yo, it's it's, it's Nazarite Seven. Yeah, I'm um, I'm a truck driver, so I'm I'm everywhere. You know, right mm -hmm. now I'm in Jersey. Oh, okay. Um, salute, salute. Yeah, most deaf. Um, yeah, man, I, I I like to big ups to the brother, man. You know, coming home, man. And the, the last caller pretty much, you know, laid it down 
laid it down lovely, you know, as, as far as um concerned as when the dude comes out, I hope he doesn't get in, you know, engulfed by, you know what I'm saying? I hope, hope he, he's solid and, 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 and build up his, 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 his spirit when, when he was in there, even though in there is, is, is the bottomless pit as well. You know what I mean? So, but the creator had him, you know what I mean? The creator had him still. So, and, and brought him out. It's ironic at this time. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah very, crazy, very you know ironic I mean? with everybody. You know, <laughs> the thing with the internet, people just speculate. You know, I see comments like, oh, G Depp came home because he gave up info. And I'm like, come on, man. Homie did his oh, time. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, they go they Listen. going in right now. They 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 be wilding in these comments. Cause even when I posted oh, on Instagram oh, oh. and um TikTok, they reckless, man. They reckless. You know they're gonna do what they do, man. You know, you know, the internet's gonna do with foolishness of it, what yeah. it does. But but yo, you know, my brother, you know that that dude went in on yo, a solid. You know what I'm facts. saying? He went in on a oh, solid. Hold so that I'm thought. Leave it at that. No doubt, my brother. Peace. Peace. Mute your audio. Mute your audio. Oh. Uh, yeah, you gotta mute you your that? you gotta mute your TV or your laptop. My brother it bleeds into the show. Pace, yo, all right, pace, yo, pace, mute your audio. Yo, what's good, right? Do me a favor, mute your audio, my brother. Yeah, yeah, definitely mute it right now. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You pound that like button, y'all. G Depp is home, man. Ooh, pound, yeah. pound that like button for G Depp, everybody. Yeah, it's got... crazy. That big man. Um, I don't think there's no conspiracy theory, nothing like that. But um, G Depp should hook up with the other boy who came home. What's the other Muslim dude? The bad boy. Oh, you talking about um Loon? Yeah, that's from Loon. Yeah, you know, I just look at the picture just now too. It's crazy how I just caught you. I said. Let me call up. I listen to you all the time. I'm from the Bronx, by the way. My name is E. Ernest, you know what I mean? From the BX. And no Charlie doubt. Nampen, e. Um, What's up, E? Salute to the whole yeah. BX. I, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely. Salute all five boroughs. Definitely, man. But yeah. um, I'm glad your boy home, though. Yeah. yeah I was looking too. at the last freestyle that he did before he had went in. You know what I mean? Yeah. That freestyle was crazy. Hopefully, crazy. he still got the same energy. Uh-huh. And um, he won't get baller blocked in the game. Because some people ain't around to be pushing them buttons to, to push them back. So, you know, hopefully he can eat. Somebody yeah. got to put him on. Yeah. Now, I mean, they gotta put at, him on, but... at this point, I think homie coming home to his family, right? That's a beautiful thing. His kids, yeah. his, his, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know what I mean? All the Pacifics of his family. I don't know if his mom's still living, but he coming home to his family. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful oh, yeah, thing. Good. Taking the air. He got kids? I, I believe so. He got kids. Come come home oh, to his kids. Okay. You know, breathe in the air because he, he said something. He said in, in the um, video when he was released, the air is different. You understand what I'm saying? Mm, the, so he went straight to it. IHOP. So it's like the air is different. The food is different. You know, just take it all in. You feel what I'm saying? Take the yeah, air. You gotta in. put his feet on the land first. Yeah, put your feet on the land. Put his feet on the land. You know what I mean? Assess everything. Energy, you know. You got to understand, definitely, everything definitely, is you know different. I mean? You know, when he went in, you know, 13, almost 14 years ago, technology yeah. and evolution, you know, is totally different. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And when he went in... He going to see, man. Yeah. When he went in, probably wasn't even no iPhones. I don't, I don't think. I think iPhones yeah, came it out. Yeah, wasn't no iPhones. Yeah. So... It yeah, wasn't yeah. no iPhone. I got an uncle who had just came home We did. 10 years, you know what I mean? Uncle, he's getting money, but all he's talking about now is, yo, what's up with these females out here? You <laughs> know what I mean? She's crazy. They don't mess with it. Like, he don't understand. You oh. know what I mean? Like, I look up I look up to my uncle back in the days and all that, but I'm trying to explain to him the transition. Oh, yeah. And um, I feel like Loon can have that little same type of, but being a, a celebrity anyway, it probably be a little easy for him, you know, to get back to sight. He, he can need a good woman. That's, That's what it is. Now, um, you know what's so crazy? You know what I, mean? I, ha I had his wife on my show. You know what I'm saying? Like she was doing interviews and him okay. calling from jail. So I got all that content and I've been keeping, you know, his name alive. She's been keeping his name alive via me. And I did a whole campaign where she was able to get thousands of dollars from the MREC TV, Rec Ooh. Mob and all that. Yeah, they to a, um, what was it? A, 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 a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? 
So oh, that's good. You've been yeah. a lot of people behind the scenes, man. Behind the scenes, doing out here. You behind yeah, here. behind yeah. the scenes, front street. Yeah, I mean, look, man. I, I look at it this way, man. Each one, teach one, man. I'm blessed, so I'm I'm gonna bless other people. You dig what I'm saying? As much as that's I can. I see a lot of people that that got billions of dollars. They and they, and they selfish, bro. I can never be like that, man. Tupac said something. He said, uh, all these people, these celebrities, they be having hundreds of millions of dollars in all these houses and cribs. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way in hell you're going to drive all these cars and live in all these houses and you got people out here that's homeless. Like, come on now. Yeah, you're you right. So that, that's, that's the a time. fact. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's still mansions out there that celebrities own right now, but they like abandoned mansions that they didn't even sell yet. Haunted mansions. Because nobody's yeah, staying haunted, there. Yeah, haunted, Celebrities haunted got mansions. haunted mansions. He's just sitting there. Facts. I just talked about this Kelly, yesterday with my brother. You know what I'm saying? Kelly, one of them. Yep. Kelly Mansion is just sitting there. Anybody trying to buy that? Come on, and you got people that need housing, people that's homeless. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. But, but yeah. It's designed for us to fail anyway. It's designed for us to fail. And um, we just got to come together to that feet on their neck. You know that's what it is? That's a fact, my brother, man. I appreciate you tapping in. Just do me a favor. Um, go get that spooky I was app in the app in the Apple store. You know what I'm saying? Got the whole TV oh, show yeah, on I there. Can definitely do that. Right. I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't watch it yet. And you you, you pushing the spooky, but I, I don't even know why I get your YouTube. It's so much shit going on. Excuse me. It's nah, so much it's all, it's going all on, good. on YouTube. Yeah. Look, when you, you lock in, like, you lock in. Your time blocks. Look, when you lock yeah, in, you I'm lock a, in. I'm tapping with you. I appreciate you, I got you. Spooky. I no doubt. Salute. One. One. Man, shout out to uh, G Depp, man. I should try to call his wife Bunny. But I'm letting them have fam family time. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm one of those people. I give people their space. You know what I mean? Because it's bigger than uh, content. Like, But right now, I'm going to use my platform. Because if it was me just coming home from 13 years, I want to feel that love, not only for my family, but, you know, especially as an artist, I want to, I want the, the people, you know what I'm saying, to speak their mind. You know, let me know you're rocking with, you know what I mean? Let me know you're rocking with the homie. So, yeah, let's go back to the video of um him being greeted as soon as he come out them gates. Let's get it, y'all. I think I turned the sound. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I told you I was bringing you home, right? I was just dancing, right? I was just bringing you home. <laughs> Hey, what's up, my man? Oh, man, yo. Uh, yo. Uh, the deputy. Amen. Amen. That's terrible. I'm sorry. That's cool. I couldn't see. I could not. You're breathing it, right? The air's different. Uh, I said I was going to breathe, so. The air's different. Yeah. That's how Auntie know. Auntie know. The air's different out here. <laughs> yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, man. Let's All get right. it. Let's get it. This we is special do. delivery right here. You need it. Let's uh -huh. get it. Let's get it. Yo, can y'all hear the audio on that video? Let me know. Um, y'all was able to hear that audio on the G Dep video just now. Put a thumbs up if you did, cause I'm trying to have it whereas y'all can hear the audio and it don't echo. So it's certain stuff I gotta mute on the board. So let me know. Put a thumbs up if y'all can hear that audio. You know, all right. But let me go into the other video with him being at aha for everybody just and pound that like button. Let's get to it. 
Why are you hot? Show up, man. Show up. You showed up for me. Appreciate you, bro. Honorable dude. Don't no show up. We ain't doing no free advertisement. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm proud of you, man. Uh, All right. It's the first free meal. All right. That's right. There you go. God bless. Yeah, All right. Family, 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 family. Hey, come on, brother, kids, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Mama. We about to eat, have a little bit of food, and then get on the road. <laughs> All right. All right. We out. We out. He's home. He's home. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, I have everybody. Well, scramble Mm. <laughs> Why you hot? Show up, man. Show up. You showed up for me. Appreciate you, bro. Honorable dude. Don't no show up. We ain't doing no free advertisement. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. I'm proud of you, man. All right. It's the first free meal. All right. That's right. There you go. God bless. Yeah. All right. Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna play the interview I did with G. Depp while he was in there, and then you know, um, I spoke to his wife numerous times. So I'm gonna let y'all know I've been campaigning for the homie to come home and you know, keeping his name alive and all that. Him, Loon, like I said, the whole bad boy pretty much been on my platform, and you know, I have relationships with them directly, and sometimes it's uh via somebody else, but you know, they've been on my platform, man. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, go to that. I got. Let's do that. Hold on one second. I got y'all. All right. This is um. actually. He did an interview with my homie. That's a part of my team. My man, Ant. Let's get it. All right. And then what's going on family it's trip young and i'm introducing a new segment called trip talk and it's basically going to be me just chopping it up with, with some of my friends and pace, the pace. And people that i've come in uh, contact with pace. right what's going on talk to me what, man what's that man hey yo my name thaddeus man hey yo it's good to see G Depp home, man. He one of the best lyricists. People really sleep on how good that man is, man. Lyrically, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No doubt, no doubt. Um, let me let me ask you this, man. What's that? When you first heard of G Depp, what record was that, or what freestyle, or what verse was that? Do you remember? I, I'll be one hundred, man. Uh, it was the damn special delivery. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, like his bars on that man was crazy. We got to bust a chop for that. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. He went crazy on that. Flow was stupid. He went crazy on that, man. He went crazy on that, man. And the remix was crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, the remix had Ghostface, Craig Mack, uh, uh, Keith Murray. Craig Mack. Yeah. Keith Murray. Yep. Yeah. yeah, crazy. Also, also, then I got the album. Then I I fell in love with Child of the Ghetto and oh all that. Oh, my God. Was, Child of the Ghetto? And, 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 yeah. Nobody living the script of the picture they painted for me, man. Woo. That's all I got to say. Nigga, his flow always hey, been yo, stupid. Man. Always been stupid. His flow always been crazy. Hey. Shouts to G-Dep, man. Man, shout to G-Dep. Hey, hey, yo, Rhett, keep doing your thing, man. Holla oh, at you, man. Yo, do me a favor. Before you go, download that Spooky yeah. I Was app in the Apple Store. And watch the whole TV show, the whole Spooky Hours gotcha. TV show. All right? That's my app. Thank you, my brother. Salute. Gotcha. All right, dog. All right, peace. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.
Yo, you know what's so crazy, man? I love this hip hop thing, man. And I'm gonna play this G Dep. Uh, you know, like I said, if it wasn't me directly, it's people that's connected to my brand, that's a part of my brand. So my man Ant, he uh, interviewed G Dep. But matter of fact, I'm gonna get back to Ant interview. Ant is more recent, but I got an interview with I interview G Dep. I believe. Hold on. A special delivery, two records that still bump at damn near every party. They can still, uh, still, still oh. bump. He's gonna be calling in from from jail. Hold on one second. What's going on? Can you hear me good? All right, I got it, y'all. Hold on, I got it, y'all. I'm about to pull up the interview, let y'all know. And it's been on my channel. This came out when um three years ago, right? And then before that, his wife. Always called the show. Um, we did interviews. She she was on my live. Like I said, I did GoFundMe's for her, G Dep and the family, and, and generated thousands of dollars. Like, you know, this is what I do. You know what I mean? In real time. I hold people down for real, for real, man. I hold the culture down for real. I hold they people down. This is not a lot of, you know, cats be fronting. A lot of cats is culture vultures too. It ain't just white people. A lot of cats is just vulturing off the cultures. They don't they, they don't do nothing for the culture. They take from the culture. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, let's get to it, y'all. Yeah, I can hear you. What's happening? What's happening? How you? I'm good, man. Blessed. I can't complain. How's everything on your end? Praise God. That's what's up. Everything is everything, man. Just holding on, you know? You staying out the way, you know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. And I definitely appreciate you uh for taking the time out. I know I know it's probably crazy for you. Um, so I definitely want to thank you for taking the time out to chop it up for a couple of minutes. For sure, bro. You already know, man. You know that's how we gotta do, man. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Fact. Black Enterprise, baby, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you know, fam is fam though at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Son is yeah. son good, son is good people, so I figured I'd do them now. You know what I mean? That's a fact. I definitely appreciate that. So let me um let me let me introduce uh a Harlem legend, G Depp is uh is in the building right now with us he is calling in uh right right now um and we definitely are glad to to, to have you with us we got a, we got a lot of things that we that we're going to get to on this interview but um I'm, i gotta start to start right at right at the at the peak at the, right with the music um i want to i'm gonna go back to uh to child of the ghetto 2001 that was your your your, your first uh major album on uh on Bad Boy Records? Sure, that's fact. That. Okay. So talk What's your credit card debt balance? If it's ten thousand dollars or more, here are three easy solutions. Give me a second. YouTube stay running ass. God damn. That's Bad boys for life, V. To uh to Child of the Ghetto. Two thousand and one. That was your 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 first uh major album on uh on bad boy records sure that's a fact okay so bad talk boy entertainment shout out to the whole bad boy you know what i mean that's bad a boy for life B. that's a fact that's sure. a fact talk to me about about that album and um what went into to making that album well you know that that was that was basically you know that was just, that was that was the that was the time that 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 defined you know my my uh, my career was the eight the, you know the eight the the the, the apex moment you know what I'm saying you know of of of, of my of my of my uh, unprofessional career you know what I'm saying it, it it took me you know that was the threshold from unprofessionalism to professionalism you know what I'm saying and it, it it taught me a lot you know what I'm saying it it, it was it was a point where you know, I just was able to express myself, you know what I mean, to the fullest over high powered beats, you know what I'm saying, around, you know, professional, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 hit makers and, you know what I'm saying, musical, m musical savants, you know what I'm saying? So it was just a, it was just a, a, a renaissance in my life, you know what I'm saying? Got you, got you. How, how did releasing that album change your life? I mean, you know, in a lot of ways, it you know, it, it catapulted me directly from you know being a boy to a man. You know what I'm saying? For one, you know what I mean? Because you know, with, with with great with great power comes great responsibility. You know? mm -hmm. Well, yeah. So, you know, what I'm saying I had to, you know, 
I went from, you know what I'm saying, to to to, to being a from to being a bill to paying bills. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know, yeah, so you know, it was it was it was a, it was a, it was definitely a, a eye opening experience, transform transformation, you know what I mean? All that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I mean I'm pretty sure, you know, you know, you know what it feels like to be a young man, you know, to you know, just just to run in the, some, some some bread and you know, have to take care of your family and take care of your business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it just, it just made you, it made you ready. It made me ready. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a fact. And um, you know, one 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 of my favorite one of my favorite songs still. I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot of people's uh, favorite songs to this day. You can't put that song on and, and, and you don't get up off your ass and start dancing. Uh, let's oh, get it. So, oh, wow, wow, wow. Talk to me about that single, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, that was one of them things, you know what I'm saying? Um the producer, the producer Yogi, uh, uh he, he had a he had a single, you know what I'm saying? He had a group called Crew. I don't know if you remember that group, but I'm pretty sure if you hear the song, you will remember. But the dude he he ended up being a hit maker, uh-huh. you know what I mean, a hit man, excuse me, on, on you know, with the label. And you know, he you know, he kept telling me, Yo, Depp, I got something for you. I got I got this joint. It's gonna be crazy, like it's gonna be like you know bells and whistles, like you are gonna go crazy on it. I know it, and I was like, no doubt, no doubt. And it was like we just kept missing each other. And then one day, I, you know, he was at the studio, and he was like, yo, ride home with me. I got, I got the joint with me. And I was like, oh, word. So we rode home. And he let me hear the joint, and it was just like, it was just like, it was like a, a like a, like a whistle went, like a, you know what I'm saying? A, a bell went off in my. Pound that like button, y'all. This is a exclusive interview with G Depp when he was inside. Pound that like button only on MREC TV. We've been holding G Depp down over here. You're going to see everybody come out the woodworks like they supported him, but we've been doing this for years. Him, his wife, his whole family. All right, let's get it. Shout out to my man Ant on the interview. Let's get it. I had like, yo, this is, this is crazy. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And, and that was really basically, you know what I'm saying? All she wrote, I went, I went. I went to the spot that night. You know, I was living in Lennox Terrace at the time. You know what I'm saying? I felt like the Godfather of Harlem. I don't know if y'all watching that out there, but I was in the steps, <laughs> chilling by myself in the same building. That's why it's crazy. Cause the same. Wow. Homie mentioned the Godfather of Harlem. And you know what's so crazy? My homie is the executive producer who put that TV show out, Marquand Smith. That's crazy, man. Listen, man. I'll be having gems on top of gems. Let's get it. <laughs> Chilling by myself in the same building. That's why it's crazy. Cause the same building from the from the from the uh from the episode of Godfather of Harlem when he was in the steps. Uh-huh. Sitting on the step. That's how I was. I'm chilling. I'm in the I'm in the steps with my little fifty dollar radio. You know what I mean? Just writing, going hard. And I wrote the Let's Get It that night, you know what I'm saying? Right over the joint. You know what I mean? And it just was it was one of them joints that sat there like we didn't really understand it. We just was like, yo, what is this? You know what I mean? And yeah. it didn't have nobody on it. It just had me. I was just on it dolo. You know what I mean? Dudes was just listening to it. We was listening to it for months. Like, yo, what are we going to do with this? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm riding around. My people just loving it. They like, yo, well, what, yeah, but what is it? Like, <laughs> Yeah, but it became a staple like, in, in Harlem. Like, it, that, like that, that song yeah, like, was like a voice for Harlem. That's a fact. And, and then Puffy got his hands on it. My name is Tyler Devereaux. I'm oh, inviting man. you to attend my brand new t- two-hour live master class. And I'm- First, he was like, yeah, Jeff, I got to sit. And then Puffy got his hands on it. He, people just loving it. They like, yo, well, what, yeah, but what is it? Like, <laughs> Yeah, but it became a staple like, in, in Harlem, like it, that, like that, that song yeah, like, was like a I, voice I, for yeah, Harlem. The the That's a fact. And, and then Puffy got his hands on it. And he really like he listened to it after a while. At first, he was like, "Yeah, Jeff, I gotta sit with that." Like, I don't, you know what I mean. And then after a while, he was like, "Yo, nah, I gotta get on this." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he was like, "I need to get on this. I'm gonna put Black Rob on this, and we gonna do that." And I was, we just, we, we just gonna do the. The three the hard way. That was the name of the little little click we had. He said we are gonna do the three the hard way on this. Well, it, it was, definitely like, wow, worked yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. That was that. You know, the Harlem Shake dance though, kind of got yeah. it got it got kind of got famous though once the once the video dropped. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it was already. I'm pretty sure you know it was already 
Uh, hey. That was already a thing. Peace. Hey, hey, what's up, Emrek? Peace. What's Am up? Am I live? Who this? I'm live. This is Goddess. Goddess, what's happening? Talk to me. What's going on? I just want to say, check it out. I'm ready to roll. Black people, get on the code. Welcome home, G-Dep. And uh, what's the call about? I just checked. I just got on. What's it all about? It's about G-Dep. You know, we welcome home G-Dep. You know what I mean? Yes, welcome home, G-Dub. I hope he has peace of mind. I hope Diddy do right by him. You know, I know he was giving away a lot of people publishing or portions of the publishing or whatever. So I hope that, you know, things go well for the brother. And that's it. I'm going to keep it short. Peace. No doubt. I appreciate you tapping in. Thank you. Make Hold on. Before you go. Before you go. Yeah. Make sure you download that Spooky Hours app in, in the Apple Store. All right? That's my okay. app. All right. Thank you. Peace. All right. Peace. Peace. Salute. Salute. What's up, bro? Massa Musa. What's going on? What's good with a man? Glad to see G Depp free, man. And I hope yes. he going to drop some music. Yes. I'm with you, my brother. I want to hear some new music. Um, I just want him to get settled in with his family. Want mm -hmm. want him to, you know, let his feet touch the ground. You know, eat yeah. good. You know what I mean? Eat good. Get some good rest in the bed. You know, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. I want yep. that, that man to have his first good night, a first good night of eating good, first good night mm -hmm. of rest, you know, spending time with his family, and then mm -hmm. get back to everything, man. Because, you know, sleeping in those prison beds, man, like, them shits is uncomfortable. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's different. Everything is different, man. It's, you know what I mean? But yo, And I'm going to tell you this right here. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. G. Delp, before he turned himself in willingly, it, it it cleared up a lot of space in his heart and his mind. So that dude is different. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. D Depp along his music, his flow, that style was never old. It never got old. Never. And it's still irrelevant right now. G Depp has so much to give, so much more to say, and so much more to show. I just want to tell that brother, if he's listening, peace, love, and respect, King. Do your thing. Like Emrex say, get settled. But just to know that you still got love out here. And what you did is a great thing for yourself. And for people, and all I got to say is special delivery, man. It's special to have you back. That's a fact, my brother. And I'm going to say this before you go. The homie Mansa Musa okay. is one of the Spooky Hours OGs telling the most phenomenal Indeed. stories on Spooky Hours, the call-in show we do every Sunday, right? We brought it back mm -hmm. last Sunday. He told four phenomenal stories, and then we got the Spooky and Hours. <laughs> And did a dare first time on Spooky Hours. So go check for that on the channel. But also go download so, the Spooky Hours TV show in the Apple Store. Download it's that Spooky Hours app. You can get the whole series for 99 mm -hmm. or you Come can on. get the regular series for 10 it, It's easy, man. $10 ain't nothing. nothing. Show love to MREC TV, bro. And on yeah. top of that right there, man, pound that like button. Come on now. And if I may, MREC, you know how I do. I haven't dropped no content yet. But I would be pleased and easy if y'all just go to Mono Massimusa LLC and just sub. That's no it. Doubt. M -Rec got me. M -Rec is my manager, if y'all don't know, but I'm going to be quiet, though. <laughs> but I'm a holler wreck. That's I'm a I'm going to jump back up on this thing. Peace, love, and best is King. 100. No doubt. Peace and love, King. Peace. 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 Yes, Kevin Riper. What's going on? Me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. It just seemed like, remember Master P and C murder? P did it and G did it. Mm. Not saying that, you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, for example, for Taurus, mm -hmm. you know, let me tell you this. You hear me? Mm -hmm. March 25th, two, uh, March 25th, 1997. Yeah. New Taurus Bill's out. Mm -hmm. March 25th, 2024, P did a house get raised. Mm. It's something catching about this. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, you know, the thing with that and however, you know, it goes, you know, I ain't going to say the rest of it, you know, but that's crazy and messed up how it went mm -hmm. for us, you know. You go that far, well, or the Cassie, the half of doing all that. I remember she came out two hours, what, six. You see what I'm saying? But how the industry you have to go that far just to get somewhere but all this let's say if did it had to do that not saying government but let's say if he did 
Now, I don't know. I'm going to say a list. But if it's just him and he let the power get to his head, he should have got help a long time ago. No doubt. I appreciate you tapping in, my brother. Make sure you download that Spooky Hours app with the whole Spooky Hours hey, mini series on the talk, Apple Store. Talk, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I will. If you talk, if you talk to Amina, you tell her I said she, I, after what I mm -hmm. saw off the news, mm -hmm. she is definitely right. Got you. Yeah, but um, check it, fam. I appreciate you calling. Um, salute. All right, Kevin from Arkansas. No doubt, my yes, brother. Sir. All right, peace. Yes, sir. All right. Soup, I'm going to hit you right back. I'm live. Yo. 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 What's happening, Babs? What's good, Emrak? We got Babs on the line. I told y'all we're going to get some bad boy artists on the line. Form well, former bad boy artists on the line. Babs, what's happening? Talk to me. I'm always a bad boy artist, man. Okay. I'm going for that cheesecake. Y'all ain't taking my my bad boy stamp from me. Mm -hmm. Got you. <laughs> Got you. What's good? And wreck G Depp home. Yeah, G Depp is home. G Depp is home. What's up? Um, what's your relationship with G Depp? Did you did, did you have a uh, a relationship? Talk to me. No, I didn't have no real relationship with G Depp. I was more my relationship was with Black Raw. Like, you know, I had my relationship with Black Raw. Rest in peace, Black Raw. But, you know, I'm excited that, you know, he's free. You know, you feel me? So mm -hmm. gonna see what's gonna happen. Now, that's what's up. Now, let me ask you this. Was you a uh G Depp fan? Like, did you like his music? Did you was you into his music? Yeah, I was into. I like some of his songs. I definitely did. Okay, that's you know who who didn't. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, so when you got the bad boy, right? Give us, you know, who was there when you when when you got there? Was G Dep around or he wasn't around? We was there. The okay. band was there. Okay. When we got there, the band was there. The band. But I don't remember seeing, yeah, I don't remember seeing G Duck, to be honest with you. But, you know, I, that's just my, my memory. Like, that doesn't mean that's to see him or, you know, any of them. But, like I said, I had my relationship with Black Rob. He was the one that was there all the time. He was working on his album. You know, I did a record with Black Rob. So I was bothered with Rob. Okay. Well, now, rest in peace, Black Rob. What, what was your relationship like with Black Raw? Because, you know, Black Raw put G. My relationship on. with Black Raw, yeah, my relationship with Black Raw was cool. Rest in peace, Black Raw. He was a good dude. He was always good to me, always showed me love. He showed the bear love in general. You know, he was just a regular, you know, street dude from Harlem. And um, I was excited to be around him. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, man. Now, give us... Being that you was a part of that bad boy roster and you recorded in Daddy House and been around some superstars and you, you got records with Mary J. Blige and, of course, you know, before all the allegations, you know, Diddy was who he was. What was that experience like? Give us, give us that, if you could. I mean, it was a great experience for me. You know, I was a fan um, of Diddy. I was a fan of Bad Boy because that's where Biggie was at. So for me, I, I feel great being from Brooklyn to be in the same um, space that Biggie and Little Kim and, you know, Junior Mafia mm -hmm. was in. That was, that's how I looked at it. It was like, okay, I'm a part of the Brooklyn legacy. Like, you know, so that's what it was for me. Uh, that's what's up. And I appreciate you tapping into the show. I know you got wild things going on. So this is what we do. Babs, we're going to bring her back officially. Babs, give him a date because I don't want to keep saying you're going to be back Friday and um nothing don't happen. You know what I mean? Because they start looking at me crazy. You know? Yeah, we're going to be, we going to tap in next week. Let's not say a date on here because you know how you do. You get five <laughs> business calls and then I can't find you. You know, he's like, all right, Baz, I'm going to call you back because um, I'm filming right now. Well, I'm in this meeting or something. So we got to figure it out, you know, when we both got the time. But let's make it happen next week for sure. All right, that's what's up. So, Babs, do you want to? I'm going to hit your line later. I appreciate you tapping in with the rec mob and myself.
right. All right, Rec Mob, y'all already know the vibe. Tap in, Bad Bunny, First Lady of the Street, Queen of the Ring. Give it up for the lady, Brooklyn all day. You already know. You already Later, know. Rack. Peace, Bad Look, I told y'all, man, this is what I do over here, man. You see, Bad Boy is always on the check-in for Mace, Babs, G Depp, Loon. I had everybody, Jada, Kiss, Styles. We got my man DJ Superior. Superior, call the line. Superior be calling me on my direct line. I don't know. Like, I don't know if he ever had the show. He don't probably pay attention. Superior, hit my line, man. Hit the 310-598-2974 line. Come on, Superior. You know what I mean? Salute, Malcolm. I appreciate that. I mean, over here at MREC TV, we give everybody a shot. The big dogs, the underdogs. But, you know, I'm really for the underdogs. But, you know, we know the big dogs, too. You dig what I'm saying? So, listen. Let's get to it, y'all. Um, let me let me get Superior on the line because he probably don't even know what's going on. I text him. Superior is DMX DJ. Hold on. We get everybody calling up. I, I text him the number, but he probably... Yo, Sue. I text you the number. You always be calling my my phone. You are supposed to be calling the show line. Oh, the show number. All right. I yeah. Didn't know that was the show number. Yeah, yeah. Call call that right now. Uh, you said ten minutes. That's why I was waiting. Nah, you good? Call it right now. I was on a I was on a line with Bab. She, you know, she doing a one two. She doing a one two. So you good? All right. So we gonna have DMX DJ call up, and he got relationships with you know. All these artists and all that, G Depp and everybody. See, we letting G Depp come home to his family, you know, enjoying his peace. But we're going to get everybody that's around him that's close to the situation on the line. You know what I mean? And plus, we got exclusive content that nobody don't have. I see the homie. Shouts out to the whole Hartford, Connecticut. My brother, DB Rax in the building. You heard? So, Rax is official, man. Let me tell you something, man. That's my brother right there. You know what I mean? We made a lot of moves, and that's always going to be my brother. So, shouts out to the homie. DB Rax and Richie Rax. Peace. Peace, peace. What's good, world? What's going on? Superior, you got to take me on speaker. You got to be crispy on the line or, or the wreck mob is going to roast you. You know what I mean? All right. My bad. My bad. Good <laughs> shout out to the wreck mob. How that sound? How that sound? Yeah, you much better, man. Talk to me, Superior, man. Um, You wanted to call in, so I know you got some exclusive to, to talk about. Talk to me, King. Yo, I'm just... The, the thing I wanted to address... Um, oh, man. The 50 shit. You got to be easy on the cursing, too, man. You got to know that. Oh, my bad, my gotta... bad. <laughs> What's going on with the 50 thing? What yeah, the stuff about? with 50 with Stevie J, man. Come on, Stevie J. Oh, man. Stevie J don't want Stevie J don't want those type of problems, yo. Nah, he don't want those problems. That's a fact. And it seems like he's defending. Don't it seem like he's defending a chick? Like. Um, I don't know that's what's what... going on. It's it's a lot going on over there. You know, um. And yeah, it's a chick involved. Um, you know, Stevie J, his his sentiment was 50, you and your feelings, cause your girl over here with the gang, you know what I'm saying? So, man, listen. Well, your your baby moms, rather. You know what I mean? Well, to me, it sounds like he's defending like he's defending Diddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And what you know, what we try to do on Unsung Heroes, um, we try to look at the other side of things. You know, with the thing with Diddy, I understand all the stuff that he's going through, but I just try to give somebody another perspective and think about it. Like when he when he started saying that he wanted to take these people to court for Shirai and all this other stuff, all this other stuff started happening. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. we got to look at that part too. We know if Diddy's if Diddy's guilty of anything, he's guilty of being a freak or guilty of being a whatever i agree but it was no ain't no young kids we can't keep using that because every time uh black people we're we're, we're um, money laundering we're uh, uh drug trafficking we're sex trap like they they use all these key parts with us 
But if you notice, they don't use that with nobody else, but they use that to bring our bring our black men down. Now, that's our heroes down. That's a fact. Yo, let so me some, ask you. So sometimes. Yo, yeah, not to cut your words, let me ask you this, man. Um, Because, you know, you've been around X, you know, from the beginning. And, y'all, you know, y'all grew yeah. up together, DMX. Um, Did DMX and G-Dep ever do a record together? Or Black Rob? Uh, or, or... I, don't, I don't remember us doing nothing with, with G-Dep. Mm. I don't remember that. I know G Dep is being released today or, nah, or tomorrow or out. something. He's on. Oh, he's out. Yeah. All right. Big shout out to him. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, shouts to G Dep. That's the homie and all that. Yeah, man. Um. So what I'm doing, I'm having people call up, welcome. You know, giving G Dep a nice welcome home. You feel what I'm saying? So that's yeah. One of my homegirls was helping him with something with his with his girlfriend. Um. And I mean, G Dep is cool, man. I, I just noticed that you know what he went through is a bad deal. But once again, he got stories to tell too, because everybody know that was Black Rob's artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I'm sure he got a couple of things to say too. You know? No doubt. No doubt. Can't. This game is crazy, though, um, Rack. It's crazy because somebody could put something out, and all these platforms just gonna grab it. And they're not thinking about the other side. Remember, they up in the office doing this. Those upper ups, I don't want to say who they are, but they up in the office saying, watch this. Let's put this out here. Let's put this out here and watch how it creates legs. All I'm saying, everybody even listening to this channel, and all channels, just think about stuff before you say something. Think about it. Because we all are guilty from just grabbing something and running with it. That's all I'm saying. Nah, that's a fact. Pound that like button, y'all. We still got like over 400 people in the building. I'm going to have my man DB Rax tap in as well from Hartford, Connecticut, because I got mad love for my brother, plus the whole Hartford, Connecticut be showing me love. You know what I mean? That's where he's from. And, and before, all before I leave, one thing. X was telling y'all about this before. Y'all thought X was crazy. X was telling y'all about industry stuff and what they be trying to make people do. Nobody wanted to hear that. That's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, if X was here right now, can I do it, Rex? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. If X was here right now, he'd be like, yo, dog, yo, I, I tried to tell him. They, they didn't want to listen, dog. It, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yo, do me a favor before you go. Do a DMX impersonation of your last conversation. I don't care if it was a heated conversation or it was a good one. Either one. I need that. Matter of fact, give us a heated conversation with you and DMX. Really? Uh, I think well, what, a heated conversation. I think we was on tour. We was in tour. We was on tour in Connecticut, and he was a little mad because he put some money aside for me that the powers to be stole. Mm. You know, and um, he thought I was being ungrateful. Mm. So the conversation went like he saw me. That's the picture. Like, yeah, what? What's good? Yo, dog, you, dog, how much more you want, dog? I'm like, what are you talking about? Come on, man. You know this. Yo, yo, dog, I gave you money, dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> and we, we were just going at it about that. <laughs> yo, people with the rules, man, you sound just like a, yeah. <laughs> no yeah, doubt. but I loved, I loved X, man, and we did a lot of history stuff. Oh shoot, Mo Skino's keying in now. Well, tell Mo um, hit the line. Tell Mo hit the show, man. Tell Mo. Yo, stop Mo, playing. Mo, hit the live, Mo. Stop playing, Mo yeah. Skino. Tell Mo. Hit like the I line. said, man, he was a ex was a was a good person, man. He went through a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that he said in his rhymes he was doing, but it was entertainment. But it was it was a it was some gangster entertainment. <laughs> Yo, you know, real quick, there's a well, lot of people you. that came to. Real quick, not to cut yeah, you away, well, I got you because the people was loving the DMX impersonations and me and you got to, oh. we got to do mad content on that. We, we'll talk about that behind the scenes. But give yeah, us- We can do Kiss too. We can do Jada too. All that. Yeah. We're going to keep it with the X because you, you know, because right, of right. your relationship. Let's do DMX um, sicking his dog on people. Do that. Oh, oh shoot. Boomer. Yeah. He's picking Boomer on people. Well, uh, 
for okay. those that know, X wasn't robbing people with, with a gun. He was robbing people with a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, you know, he would walk up on somebody with the dog and go, Yo, dog, the dog don't like you, dog. Give it up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> and what, and what Boomer be doing? Boom, Boomer be growling and shit like that? Yo, D- Boomer, when I had Boomer, when X had to go to jail for like a uh, couple of months, Boomer, Boomer knew the whole routine. This dog was so messed up in the head that when we was in a house and you hear police sirens, the dog used to jump up and run to the window and act like he trying to hide and <laughs> run out. I was like, I said, yo, this dog is messed up. And when I told X when That's he came wild. home, I said, yo, I told X when he came home, I said, dog, what you what you do to this dog? This dog is like messed up. Yo, dog, don't talk it, don't talk about him in front of him. Wow. <laughs> he wanted to go to a next room and talk. He didn't want to talk in front of him. Wow. Listen, this is exclusive, y'all. You know, welcome home to G Depp, but my brother uh DJ Superior, one third of the unsung heroes called up, uh, aka DMX best friend and, and, and DJ and all that fly stuff, right? But you never going to get these D- DMX impersonations. This man knows X like the back of his hand and got X down to a science. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they keep... And if, y'all, if, y'all, and if y'all need further information, there's a book out called The Man That Walked the Dog. Me and him is on the cover. It's on all books worldwide. Uh, I've been on... um. VH1, Behind the Music, DMX, and Rough Rider Chronicles. I'm on there. So I'm the real deal. I ain't these people out here front and acting like they, yeah, I was with X, yo, I, I, I did this. If X was here, he'd be like, yo, dog, you're lying. Dog, you don't have any X for September, dog. No. <laughs> yo, give us a conversation when DMX was mad at Jay-Z. Remember when Jay-Z was the president of Dev Jam and DMX oh, felt, yeah, yeah, felt yeah, yeah. like uh, uh, Jay Z was sabotaging his album. Give us an impression that, because I know you spoke to him during that time. Give us that impression when DMX was mad at Jay Z. Well, that's that. why the record used to be my dog. You was in my left titty. That mm. record, Scream Ride or Die. You know, when he first made it, I thought he was talking about me. You know, I was just joking because that, because at, at that time we wasn't talking. So I, I was like, Yo, dog, that's about me. No, I didn't know. It's about what's his name, man. He, He's trying to run the building, dog. <laughs> he was talking about he's trying to run the building like Def Jam. So hold on. You know so, what I'm saying? So you, you might have just cracked the code. That record was for Jay-Z and Ja? Cause remember, yeah, it was for both of them. Wow. See, this is exclusive. That's yeah. crazy. Exclusive. You hearing yeah. it live from DJ Superior? And the funny thing is, mm-hmm. Irv Gotti, Irv Gotti did the beat. So Irv Gotti knew he was going at Ja. But Irv was just... Mm-hmm. You know, Irv was just, you know, mm. X was his dude. He never really got into that that thing. And if y'all follow Ja Rule, I got no beef with Ja Rule. You know, I'm 50 Cent all day, though. Mm-hmm. But I have no problem with Ja Rule. But Ja knew that he started in the beginning. Like, he wasn't sounding like that. He wasn't, a murder. he wasn't doing none of that stuff, bro. He wasn't doing that. Y'all can go back to Cash Money Click with Mike Geronimo and listen to Ja Rule sitting there. He wasn't doing it. So, yeah, he was trying to take bits and pieces from X. That's what he was trying to do. And listen, man, we're going to do, and I'm going to promise you, I mean, of course, with Superior Blessings and Rest in Peace DMX, we're going to bring y'all DJ Superior DMX impressions. So nobody get it twisted, okay? This is, like, I, I want to say this. This man put a lot of work in, got exclusive DMX records and videos that nobody never saw before. And the whole and, and the whole industry, plus everybody that was close to the situation, is trying to contact him to get those, you know, get that footage and get those records, all right? So... We're going to bring you a lot of exclusive content. That's why you got to lock into the Unsung Heroes because him and DJ Moschino be talking about a lot of stories and they interview a lot of, you know, uh, Unsung Heroes. Man, tap into that Unsung Heroes show. It's on the channel, MREC TV. Yo, Superior, man, I appreciate you, my brother. 
Love is love. Yes, yes. I'm going to hit you behind the scenes. I'm going to finish doing the show and letting people, you know, tap into this G Dep welcome home energy. You feel me? All right, cool. All right, shout out to everybody out there and just know this one thing men lie, women lie, video don't. Come on now. <laughs> Facts. All right, my brother. Thank All you right? for calling in. Salute. What? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Call me up, man. Welcome, G Dep home. That was DJ Superior. Uh, a.k.a. DMX DJ, a.k.a. one-third of the Unsung Heroes with myself, DJ Moschino, okay? He's on the channel. We got a lot of interviews with that brand and that show. Call me up. Let's welcome g Depp home. What's going on? All the jail homies, stay calling my show. Yo, Rick, you know I did time. Yo, you know, this, 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 that, and the third. Da, da, da. See, this is, this is where you expose people. If you're not happy for somebody, you know, and, and they claim to be, you know, yo, anybody that did time, yo, and, and, and didn't snitch, I'm keeping it G'd up with them. Yo, you know, I got to rock with that. Okay, homie, did his time, didn't, you know, tell on nobody, allegedly, and, and I, you know, homie did his time. What's up with the calls? I'm expecting, matter of fact, it's niggas in jail that got access to the phone. Yo, call a line up. If you right now incarcerated and G Depp is home, just welcome that man home. Let's do that, y'all. Or, or, or you a free man. You want to see you a fan of G Depp, just call the line up. You know what I mean? I'll be confused with people. Everybody say one thing and do another. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody really keeps it G'd up. So, you know what? I wake up, I sleep, I sleep well at night. You feel what I'm saying? Um, welcome home, Gene. Welcome home, G Depp. Um, shout out to his whole family. Let's get it, y'all. I'm going to take some more calls, but I'm going to play some footage. A lot of new people in the room, they want to see the footage. Uh, if you saw the footage, don't worry. Let the people who just now coming in the room enjoy the footage, all right? I'm going to play the footage of him coming home. I got more footage of him, and, you know, they going to pick him up in the car, but I might have to mute it because they playing some copyright music. Let's get to it, y'all, all right? Um, but you can call the line, but while I'm playing footage, you can call the line. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me let me bring it up on the screen. Um, there we go. Boom. 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 Freshen up. Let me fresh. There we go. Let's get it, y'all. Welcome home, G Dep. G Dep is home, y'all. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pace. 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 You live. Call her. You live. All right. Let me get back to the footage. I got y'all. Let me get back to the footage. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Santa Claus. <laughs> Pound that like button, y'all. I told y'all I was it. bringing you home, right? I told you I was bringing you home. You know what it is. That boy was in here breathing. Yeah. Hey, what's up, my man? Oh, man, yo. Yo. Uh, the deputy. Amen. Amen. That's cool. I'm sorry. That's cool. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. I could hey, not. Hold on one second. What's going on? The deputy. You breathe in it. The air is different. What's going on? Talk to me, family. Oh, uh, mute your audio. Oh, man. Just mute your audio in the backdrop because I, I hear my live show bleeding in the backdrop. Just mute it or turn it all the way down. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. I just want to say that's a blessing that uh, G-Dev got out. Facts. That's a blessing, man. Yeah, he, yeah. Well, he was in there for what, 19, 20? 
Oh, um, nah, 13, I believe. 13. Oh, 13? It seemed longer than that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, no doubt. Man, I, I, I appreciate you calling in, welcoming g Deb home, you know what I'm saying? So salute to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, salute to you too, man. I'm from um, Compton, California, on the West Coast. So I know New York is out there, you know, probably on fire right now behind everything that's been going on on the net. Shouts to the whole Compton, you know what I mean? Salute. Yes, sir. To the whole West Coast. I appreciate you. City. What they Thank call you? Thank you, man. City of Easy e That's a I'm fact. I'm Delgado. All right, no doubt. Thanks for tapping in with MREC TV, my brother, and giving your assessment. All right, MREC. All right. Salute. Right on. Let's get it. Peace and love. Peace and love. Y'all got dudes from Compton tapping in, showing G Depp love. Where, where my New York cats? G Depp was from Harlem. What's going on with y'all? What's going on? Harlem, y'all, y'all looking crazy right now. Peace. Peace. Yo, yo, what up, what up, M Rec? Talk to me, King. State your name where you calling from. Let's get it. Peace, man. It's Isaac from Ohio, Mansfield, Ohio. I'd have called in a few times. All right. I appreciate you tapping in, man. Talk to me, man, about this G Dep, about G Dep coming home, man. How you feeling? I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be quick with it, man. But you know what? He went against a nasty system after turning himself in for something that he he said he done, and he was man enough to do that, man. Hey, he got a lot of he got a lot of heart to do something like that to turn himself in to a nasty system like that, man. And they actually let it go, man. I'm really shocked. You know what I'm saying? He overcame his, uh, you know, drug addiction, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, in every way. And um, I, I was happy to see it because I read about it when I was locked up. And um, it was kind of crazy for me to see. I didn't expect to see that. I didn't I didn't know he was going through that type, type of uh, drama, trauma in his life. You know what I'm saying? So for real, for real, like, man, I love to see that, man. Like, I was shocked when I when I got the notification and I seen G. Depp was released from prison. So, man, hey, man, that's what's up, man. Um, Many, many, many blessings to him, man. I hope he have a, a great life. You know what I'm saying? And stay away from Diddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> no doubt. Do me a favor, <laughs> though. Um, Make sure you go to the Apple Store and download the Spooky Hours app. That's my app, my TV show, man. Go check it out, all right? Okay, I got a, I, I, I just got a better phone, so I can do that. All right. I can do that, man. No so doubt. Real respect. No doubt, man. You can watch the TV show with your yeah. girl or your homies or your kids. Is 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. of, of, of course. I already seen the best friends, Joy. So oh. you know what I'm saying? Ooh. I'm hold, a, on. hold on. I'm a yeah. Not, I, I've been hold on. It was, hold, man, hold on. I've been hold on. You can't just throw best friends out there. Let them know how you feel about best friends and all that. That's crazy. But you put that out there. Hey, hey. Man, a hey, a hey, best friends was something special, yeah. and you know I ain't trying to glorify the lifestyle or nothing like that, man. Because a lot of people really feel like that, but it's something good to watch. Oh, That's man. all it Thank is. You. It's Thank you, my brother. About who you deal with in your life, who you think your brother is, mm-hmm. who you think your best friend is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, Some people you. can relate. Thank you, bro. No, so no okay. doubt, man. All right. you know, with the show, bro. Thank Peace. you, bro. Peace. Peace. Pace. 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 Hi, how hey, how are you? I'm good. You got me on speaker, you might have to take me off. You sound like you far away. Okay, okay. What about now? Nah, it's it, it's much better. Hold on one second. Okay. Do me a favor, um, Rec Mob, pound that like button. Everybody that's in the room, make sure you hit the like button so this live can go out. Share this live. Also, the Spooky Hours app is out right now. Um, and Best Friends will be on the app. I'm going to have that done today. So I know everybody been asking for Best Friends. It, it was on Tubi, but it's only going to be on the Spooky Hours app. All right? So, um, caller, state your name and where you calling from. I'm sorry. Yes, my name is Caitlin, and I'm calling from Metapan, Massachusetts. Okay. So you got something to say about G Depp being free today? I do, I do. You know, I I'm glad to see that brother is out, and um, of course, that's always good when someone is getting out of uh, you know 
paid their dues, you know, whatnot, getting out. But I have to think that this looks just a little bit suspicious because from what I have just been reading around and listening to um, from just the news excerpts, he got out on clemency. So, I mean, Mm -hmm. is this not just like a little bit suspicious and, you know, for what he was in jail for? It was a cold case, this and that. Is this not another trail to Diddy? Mm, I don't know. I think this is totally separate. I'm going to be honest. Because even when he uh, turned himself in, you know, it really had nothing to do with him being, I think he was still signed a bad boy at the time. Maybe, maybe not. But I think this is totally separate. I think this man, you know, did his time and he, you know, I know he has some few, a few years left. I know it's 15 years to life, but he might've got out for good behavior. You know what I'm saying? As well. Right. Well, I'm not, I'm not disputing the fact that he got out for good behavior, but maybe he's been singing the same song that it seems like all of the other people have been singing all along some different things that nobody really believed and maybe now that some other people have put some credence to some of these things maybe just maybe some of this is kind of adding up i'm just allegedly got you now i appreciate you but i i gotta take the next caller i thank you for calling all right thank you so much all right have a great day you too yo peace mo what's happening mo what's happening yo Mo Skinner. Yo, yo, peace, peace, yo, peace. Yo, peace. What's going on, Mo? You over there focused? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Over here with, uh, with, the, with the dog, Superior. Me and Superior on the line. Okay. Salute. Soup. What's happening? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. It was, it, was, it was lit. Soup had the line lit telling the DMX story, doing the impressions and all that. And um, yeah, man, the Word. people calling in. So, Mo, man, give us, you know, you a DJ, man. What, what, what yeah. you, like, Getting getting your G Dep bag. If you have to get in that bag to play G Dep records, do you got a G Dep set? Oh yeah. Now I'm playing. I'm playing the Harlem set all day. So okay. you know we gotta play with the Black Rod, the Woe record. You gotta give them that. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Um, get this money, G Dep, and all of that, whatever. Special and then delivery. we'll we'll slide off and go to Loon real quick and hit them with some of that. Uh. You know what I mean? Like you can you can tear haul them up i'm doing that this weekend matter of fact out here um we got dreamville weekend stay cold we're gonna stay up the whole weekend so oh, nice. we we're gonna go crazy with the harlem record please do man show show harlem and g Depp some love man g Depp is home and all that what about that child of the ghetto man that was special to me oh, the you know shot, I mean? hey yo <laughs> so now now you're talking real hip-hop right <laughs> come child on. of the ghetto come on son <laughs> yeah it was a it was a slept on album <laughs> Yeah, it definitely was slept on, but he had some bangers in there. Bangers and the in the uh title song, Child of the Ghetto, the single. Mm-hmm. You know, Cameron did it right. over too. You know what I'm saying? That joint was crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but 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 people don't give people don't give Black Rob the credit because that was his artist. Now, I said that Black Rob doing the alley oop to get on. I, I just said that to you, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? And did he what did he come do? He came over there, snatched him away, like, nah, let me get that. Mm, crazy. You know, uh, I mean? you know, how, you yeah. know how did he do? So what's going on, <laughs> man? We got, we got, we got the whole unsung heroes on the line. Myself, DJ yeah. Moschino, DJ Superior, man. What's going on with unsung heroes, man? Talk to me. Man, so got we got a couple of exclusives in the bag. Um, we got the Lost Boys. They going crazy over this Diddy situation. They got a, a story to tell the people, man. Uh, what else? So what else we got going on? Uh, we we did something for Women's Month. You know, we got a lady on there going at it, you know, giving her perspective of what she thinks. Um, what else? We got a couple of things, you know. we Like I told you, we always try to get the other side of the story, sometimes that are always the story that's being reported. Yeah. You know, because there's yeah. a bigger picture with all of that. Mm-hmm. It's like listening to the B side of the album, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, like like allegedly, the, now they're saying Ciroc is trying to reach out to Fifth for him to take Diddy place or whatever. Nah, that was a allegedly. Story. That's, um, Fifty, he cleared it up. You know, Fifty, he he ran with it. You know, oh he's the, oh, he's the yeah. man. That was done on April Fools too. So you're right. 
I think it was only yesterday. I think it was only yesterday. So, you know, but um, yeah. for the most part, it's all entertainment. A lot of stuff. And people see that because, you know, 50, he mm-hmm. cleared it up and said, you know, I, I won't be uh ambassador. I'm an owner. You know what I mean? So. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, Fifth having, he having a whole lot of fun with this situation right here. That's a fact. That's a fact. Pound the like <laughs> button, y'all. Let's get to it. Yeah, pound that like button. <laughs> but now nah, this is the tip of the iceberg, though, or, or Rick, man. I think it's going to be, they just, they're going to tap in the sun and get whatever inf- information they need to get so they can take down the bigger figures, man. You know what I mean? People getting mad at the situation, but this got to go down for everything else to fall in place. Mm. Yeah, That's how I look at it. No doubt. That's what's up, man. So, look. Let's let's give the people something exclusive from the unsung heroes, man. What guests we can look forward to having on the unsung heroes show via MREC TV? Like well, who y'all in conversations with? I know y'all got something in the tuck. You know what I mean? What's going on? I think I think y- y'all might have some some exclusive interviews in the tuck, man. Talk to me, man. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, so. Well, the guy with the hip hop show, the hip hop um show, what's his name, Moschino? Oh, Alonzo from Hip Hop Game, the hip hop yes. game show, Alonzo, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we're reaching out to Mr. Cheeks because we, you know, I see all his his interviews, but we're gonna get really into the interview with him, mm-hmm. so that'll be one. Nah, that's what's up. They got you got nice and smooth, Greg. Nice smooth, B. Woo! Um. Um, awesome too, Teddy <laughs> Ted. You know, what I mean, Ted Smooth Yo, and all on, those dudes. Slow, um, slow up, Mo. How you gonna just throw in nice and smooth like that and and, and, and not slow down? Like, you gotta let that marinate. You wild. He tried. He tried to go over it real quick. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you, said, you know, yeah. nice and smooth on the Unsung Hero Show via hey, TV. What's now? Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Speak on that. <laughs> Speak on that. Come on, man. That's it. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it man. You know okay. what I mean? We we just we, okay. we work we work when we, when we need we when we need be. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> when Red called me like, "Yo, what's up?" All right, <laughs> we we in the building. <laughs> Yo, you know what's so crazy, right? This this came up a conversation too. Um, I see everybody trying to use their YouTube as a, a network. Uh, who was mm-hmm. the first person to do that? So, I'm, <laughs> you know. I, man, shit, Rick, you've been you've been in the game for so damn long, bro. <laughs> I would say, shit, you when it comes to a lot of this that's going on right now, when you watching correct, everybody, correct. you know, breaking down they 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 work and 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 what you have, yeah, Forbes DVD. What, what how? Let's talk about your history. What you what you how your joint came? Nah, we, we we we're going to that another time because I it's about you. <laughs> okay, and I appreciate that, but I'm just saying I see a lot of people trying to use their YouTube platform like a network like how MREC does it but y'all can't do it like how I do it you know what I'm mm-hmm, saying mm-hmm, so when mm-hmm. you when you go to MREC TV you go you got the spooky hour show you got the unsung hero show you got the blackout show you feel me rip you, you got yeah you're a rip mm-hmm. MREC and rip we got the YouTube channel as well it's a lot of different content comedy everything comedy yeah. everything on this MREC <laughs> TV this this thing is a network and now you could download the spooky hours app you know what I'm Spooky saying? Hours. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on. This, it, 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 it don't get no doper than this, man. Like I tell you, Rick, I, I'll be up late night waiting for that Spooky Hours to, to pop off, bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm rocking with the people all day. Big shout out to the whole chat room. I love everybody, man. Nah, much love to the Rec Mob. They ain't here. Pound that like button. But yo, listen, fellas, I'm going to hit you up mm-hmm. behind the scenes because they calling. And, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm going to build with you yo, behind Rick, the scenes. You can, Talk Rick, you can even ask. You can ask that question to Funk Master Flex. He know. He knows. He knows what you did. Oh, he knows. Like, it's real yeah. crazy right now. We got him right. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. Flex know what time it is. It is what it is. But um, yo, my brothers, I might, I might, I'm gonna hit your line after I do the show, All man. Right. All right. So we got DJ right. Moschino and DJ Superior on the line, y'all. Unsung heroes. Peace. Salute. Peace. Salute. Salute. Peace. Peace. Mutual, mutual audio. Yeah, what's, what's going on? Mutual audio of the show. I can hear in the backdrop and, and um take me on speaker so I can hear you. You sound like you're far away, my brother. Okay. 
Okay. What's good, brother? There you go. Crispy. I'm good. Talk to me. State your name, yeah. where you calling from, and keep it clean. Let's get to it, man. G Depp is home, man. What you got to say? Okay, man. This is Molly G from Boston, man. I want to give G Depp a shout out, man. He did a lot of time, man. You know, um, he fought for his innocence, man, and I appreciated him back out on the community, you know, and he's going to do good, man. No doubt, my brother. I appreciate you tapping in. I wish him the best, man. That's a fact. Um, do me a favor, download that spooky I was app in the Apple store. All right. And watch the TV show. I got all right. I got you, M Rack, brother. Thank you. And, and do me a favor. Leave a five star rating too. All right. My I got brother. you, brother. Salute. Thank you, yeah. my brother. Peace. I need all my peoples, my people, download the spooky I was app, watch the TV show, leave a five star rate rating in the Apple store. I'm going to make the announcement soon for the Google Play store and, and the uh, Google store for the app. Just bear with me, man. You know, we we working out, you know, some technical difficulties. It's a lot of tech things going on behind the scenes. But this MREC TV thing is a is a network like Showtime and HBO. And they not even doing their network stuff no more. They stopped doing boxing and all that. But, you know, you know, I got boxing on my channel, everything. So, I want you to understand, I didn't come to play with this. And a lot of people trying to emulate what I've done and what I'm doing. You know, it's corny. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was doing it, I like to go left. So when everybody was right, I went left. I want to be left alone. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, damn, can, can MREC just do MREC? You know, and then they don't even salute. It's, it's one thing to inspire people, but it's another thing to inspire people that don't even salute. That's what make it nasty. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. It ain't even about me right now. I'm very selfish. It's about G Depp being home and salute the Moschino. That's a fact. This is the liveest show, the liveest channel. You know what I mean? I appreciate you. Let's get it. Call me up, man. I, I need to hear more love from Harlem, more love from New York City, more love from the people, period. Call me up about this G-Depp situation. Even if you got conspiracy theories, I'm here to, I'm, a, I'm not going to entertain them too much, but if it sounds too outlandish, I'm going to definitely check them. So call me up, you know what I mean? Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but let's get to it, y'all. Let's talk about it. Because I know you got them. I know it was a lot of, like, you know, we got a call a few minutes ago. I know it was a lot of cons conspiracy theories because Diddy, you know, he's looking like he about to allegedly have to be in those gates. You know what I'm saying? And G-Dep just came home from them gates. So, so call me up, man. I, I want to know what y'all thinking. But if not, uh, regardless of what, we're going to go back to this G-Dep footage, man. You know what I mean? For the people that just now come in the room. Let's get it, y'all. Uh, Dad. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Dang. What's up, my man? Oh, man. Uh, 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 Marcus, uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus, Marcus, All right, take me on speaker. Hold on, hold on one second. The deputy. My brother, take me on speaker. Kevin Rafer, Marcus, Marcus. All right, um, let's get into it, my brother. Keep it clean. I want to say glad for G Dev coming home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. Yeah. I forgot to say that, but I want to say glad for G-Dev coming home. That's all I want to say. Man, thank you, my brother. Download that Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store. My man. Thank you. Uh, all already. Right. All right. Already. Yeah. Salute. Let's get it, y'all. We celebrating G-Dev being home. We celebrating having an app, a network. Like, it's real. Yo, your man M. Rec, your man that you know, Rec Mall, got his own app. We got our own app, y'all. We got to celebrate. I'm definitely going to do a party. Yo, Superior, man, we need a Spooky Hours MREC TV at release party, man. Like, we need to do that, man. And, and Moschino, you need to DJ, man. Let's get it, y'all. I'm going to invite the whole rec mob to the at release party, the Spooky Hours at release party. We got to celebrate, man. We got too much major accomplishments, man. You got people in Hollywood that got damn near billions of dollars that don't even got their own app, man. 
And I'm not, you know, trying to compete with them, but I'm just stating the real. You know what I mean? Because they got a billy. But sometimes you can do major stuff without having billions of dollars or millions of dollars. It's, you know what I mean? It's to me, um, because people used to ask me, yo, Rick, um, are you good with your placement in the game? I'm I'm blessed because I'm doing stuff that the wealthy can't even do. You know what I mean? Because, you know, people have money, but sometimes they caught up in trying to live the lifestyle. Me, I'm more so like, what can I do next to take my brand to the next level? You know what I mean? I'm not about stunting on people. Because, you know, that's what mo most people do when they got money. They want to stun on the people who ain't got money. Pays. Pays. Yo, yo, what's up, right? Talk to me, family. Everything good. State your name. Hey, you look, man, from? what's under? Big five, what's up with you, chat? Everything hey, good. Hey, what's understood? That's got to be explained. You dig what I'm saying? That's all I want to say. Nah, I appreciate you, my brother. You right, my brother. Thank you. All right. So, Lou, you been saying it don't need to be explained. But <laughs> some people don't know, though. Some people, they come here not even knowing. Like, this is their first time here. So, they don't even know what MREC is about and, you know, all the work I put in. So, sometimes you got to put it out there. But I, I get you. You know what I mean? That's a fact. That's a fact. All right. Man, I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you for calling, man. Download that app. Salute. All right. Oh, Salute. Oh, word. Thank you, my brother. That's love. Appreciate you. Already. I got a surprise for y'all. I'm going to put that Best Friends movie on the Spooky Hours app. You can't get it nowhere else. Maybe on the Patreon. If you're a Patreon user, you know. Oh, matter of fact, I got to fix the link. I'm going to do that today. I know I, I said I was going to do it yesterday. I was trying to find a raw file. It's on my other hard drive. I got y'all. Peace. Pound that like button, y'all. Peace. What's up? Talk to me. What's going on, family? I was shocked to uh, see that they uh, released them for, from uh, from prison. Mm. Okay, keep speaking on it, my brother. Why you stop? I really didn't. Um, this was really like my first time hearing about them. I never really heard about them, and I didn't even know he was signed to uh, Bad Boys. Oh, what? Wow, that's that's crazy. So let me ask you this though. Um, how old are you? What year you was born? I'm uh 30. I was born in 94. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think um G Depp album came out. What was it? 2000. What was it? Four or five or something like that? Um, somebody let me know what year G Depp album came out. You know, you probably, you know, you was a kid when um his records was out and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. Man, I appreciate you tapping in, my brother. Make sure you um download the Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store, all right? All right. All right, my brother. Salute. So look, man, we got the youngins tapping in and people ask me what is Spooky Hours? Nef G. Spooky Hours is a TV series and it's shot, of course, like a movie. So it's a, uh, a anthology horror TV series. So you go check it out in the Apple store. All right. We got the mini series in there and we're going to be doing, popping out episodes left and right. So hit me up too. Um, if you are polished cinematographer, videographer, editor, or you went to tech graphics, hit me up, MRECTV submissions at gmail.com. Cause I got some people that, that hit me up that got some phenomenal work. I'm gonna be putting their movies on the spooky hours app. I'm gonna work out the business with them. But if you got movies that's well polished, it has to be at that level. We can work out some business. Mutual, mutual audio. Mutual audio, please. Peace. Yeah, peace. Yeah, talk to me. I'm uh, how are you, man? You talking on that G Depp topic, huh? Oh yeah, man. You know the homie home, man. We gotta. I'm doing my job. I feel like this is what media should be on right now. You know what I'm saying? 
you're right. You definitely the truth, bro. I've been watching. You know, I ran with Tim Dog back in the day, so oh, so I know that whole yeah, your whole thing. I used to be in something in Brooklyn. I'm mm. in Georgia now. Okay, I'm just laid back. Yeah, we watching you down here. They fuck with you down here in Savannah. Oh, no doubt, man. That's love, man. Shouts to the whole Savannah. I'm always out in Georgia, too, and I be moving through Savannah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. My kids is down there. You know what I mean? Yes, oh, sir. okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm in a, a little town by Savannah, um, Statesboro, Georgia. It's a little town. They still got $300 one-bedroom apartments down here, bro. Say word. Hold on, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to take your number, man. I need that info, bro. Hold on. Yeah, I got. Hold I on. just got hold one. So hold on, so, hold on, hold on. What, what's your uh, handle again? What's your handle? What they call you? Oh, Ill Flow. Ill Flow. Yes. All right, my man' name is Ill Flow too. But it's all good. I'm gonna put Ill Flow. Where he from? He from Brooklyn. From what part? Uh, I think like Awanas or something like that. Red Hook, Awanas. You know, I mean? uh, you know we, I used to be with Mussolini and Mays them because I told you, I used, my father lived in Sumner. So I'm mm. from Jersey City. My, my mother used to send me over there when I got in trouble. And, you know, I started liking Brooklyn. I used to get in trouble all the time. So I wound up staying over there for like four years, you know, and I got to know everybody over there. We used to run around battle with um, Mays, Mays from Sumner. Mm. There's a couple of other dudes from Sumner that I used to deal with. You know, we used to go to Mar Marcy and battle with Bleak and all the, all the mother niggas and Tompkins mm. and Roosevelt and Pink Houses and Brownsville. And, you know, you know how that go. Got you, my brother. Yo, but look, yeah. I'm going to be in contact with you, man, because, you know, I got cribs in mad states, but, you know, we got to keep piling them up. You know, we, we got properties and all that. But, shit, the numbers you talking about, yeah. I need that. I need that hey, right now. Hey, Rex. Hey, Rec, on some real life shit, you think that's intriguing? Uh -huh. They got, I just seen an acre of land for $1,000 uh -huh. in Millen, Georgia. Oh, see, it's, it's like, listen, yeah, so I'm you calling know, you, you know, I'm calling you today. We going, we going to work hey, out. Hey, yo, Cool Keith just called me. Cool Keith said he trying to get some acres. I said, what? Listen. But, you know. I'm calling you today, Yeah, I got Kane. you, though, bro. I appreciate I got you, you bro. And, ain't and, no problem. Yeah, just, just tell everybody out there to download the app, the Spooky Hours app, and watch the TV yeah, show. Yeah, I, I definitely get it. I posted on my IG, too. I got a bunch of followers and shit. Nah, but I got you, though. Nah, I appreciate it. The link is in the um YouTube community in, on my page, all right? So, and it's, oh, okay. it's in the chat hey, room, too. You got my number, though? Yeah, I got you, you got locked my number in. Now, did it I got you locked oh, in. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right big bro. Peace, L. Peace. 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 Yeah, I'm Rick. What's going on, family? State your name, where you calling from. Pound that like button, y'all. Let's get it, family. Talk to me. Hey, right, this is uh, Sean Shelman, a.k.a. Savon Jenny out of Killeen, Texas. Once again, I appreciate the platform that you provide for us to speak. Thank you, my brother. You, you're welcome. Not a problem. You know uh, what I mean? I like to discuss some things. Uh, I know we're talking about uh, G. Depp. You know, what I'm saying congratulations on him getting out, being locked down. But big ups don't want to downplay him. Uh, ironically, I just came through the justice system for some felonious uh, uh, crime planted on me. Mm. Um, so I was firsthand as a veteran, 24 years in that military, sacrificed six tours was able to see something that I don't get privy to see because like one say, I ain't no criminal, so I don't test the, the laws, but uh, being portrayed as one in this town, um, being shown how disgusting our law is and how the, the power of it can try to shut people down, all right? Mm -hmm. So much disgusted about that. And um, one thing, the second thing, the thing I was looking at today is whether, uh, our presidents should be up and have to debate. You know what I'm saying? This has been some part of our uh, fabric of this country all this long, and now all of a sudden um, that is up question. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the reason why I'm speaking to it is it is so necessary for these two gentlemen to debate because, one, everybody is don't mind what you want to talk about the elephant in the room. They're up in age. They both know it. And one is willing to go on stage and show that they are fit to carry out but the other not so much that person is not wanting people behind them they're back and then and now I'll, I'll be direct our president today they cuddle, coddle him and do all kinds of things because we see a lot of things all right so i speak to that it is so necessary that this process go forward and it'd be allowed to do at least three because wouldn't you i ask the question you wouldn't you want to know that your president can stand the fight 
and can stand the lead and be a decision maker. Most definitely. Most definitely. So that's why. That's what that's what I bring to the table. And I thank you so much for allowing us to uh the freedom of express on your channel. Thank you so much. Not a problem, my brother. You're welcome. Do me a favor, just download my app, man. I need I need all that. You know what I mean? You and your people. Got you. Spooky hours. I got you. Store. All right. My man. I got you. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's get it, y'all. I'm taking calls, man. I'm gonna rock out because I gotta get me something to eat for another 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna take calls, man. And let me see if I can get some more G depth footage. I got more G depth footage of him being home. I'm gonna play for y'all. And I'm going to play some more of that exclusive interview I had before he came home. You dig what I'm saying? Let's get it. 310-598-2974. Okay, let's go to this G-Dep page and see what's going on. See if they updated the page with new info, new footage. Uh, matter of fact, I seen another. Um, matter of fact, let's, let's go to the footage of him. They driving. To go get G Dep. Let's go to that footage. All right, let's do that. The only thing with that footage is I'm gonna have to put a mute. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my own music in the backdrop. Hold on, let me let me do this beforehand. Okay, it's on mute, so that's good. All right, let's get it. Let me let me see if I can play music in the backdrop. So while that's going on, because they playing music, I'm gonna I'm gonna put. You know, what up, crummy, what up, crummy, what up crummy, crummy, crummy Can you hear the music? Ah, uh, this is uh, G Depp and his people's. Well, G Depp, I don't know his family going to pick him up. You know what I mean? Let's take a ride with them. This is the live show ever. Rec TV. Pace. Hold on. Let me bring the music down. Hold on. The beat is hard. Shouts to Crummy Beats. Hold on one second. Hip hop. Boom bap. What's happening? Um, salute. Salute to the call on the line. State your name. Where you calling from? Keep it clean. Let's get it. Talk to me. Hi, I'm Rex. It's Zavani. How are you? I'm Zavani. just calling in to shout you out. What's up? That's I your appreciate delivery. it. Special delivery. You bought us that. You bought us that double entendre. That special delivery. Yes. Thank you. Thank that you. That Scorpio be biting. That's Eleven sixteen. Do me a ah, favor. You know what it do. Do me a favor. Download that Spooky What's Hours up? app because I know and you got. I already did. Oh, I told you, you that. I cashed app you. I don't have. Oh iPhone, my bad. But yeah, 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 come on now. No, yeah, my, yeah. No, no, no. I got you. I got you. No, Patterson, but, New Jersey, baby, Queen of Silk. I'm out. But Joe. You you should be able to watch What's it on up? Google. You should be able to watch it on Google. On uh, Google, I thought you said it it, it, it is spam it. No 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 no. You 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 good. You good. You okay. good. Okay. All you know right. I mean? All right. I got it. All right. All right. Man. Appreciate you. Stay up. All right. Peace. No problem. Yep. Yeah, my people that cash at me got a special code to watch it on Google. So shouts to them. But I'm going to make the official announcement to the app being on Google real soon, all right? Because you're going to need a special code. But right now, Google, it's like a test version, so don't download that one. But um, let's get to it, y'all. You need a special code. And uh, my people who, you know, sent me the cash app, they got, you know, they got special access because they show that love. Uh, Yeah, let's go back to G-Dep. We, we driving to pick G-Dep up. I'm going to see, I'm going to bring y'all to, you know, being inside the whip with his family going to pick him up and I'm going to provide the music. Why not? Uh, come on. Be on our way to pick up G-Dep. Welcome home, G-Dep. He's home. But we got con... We got content courtesy of G Depp page. Follow that man. I'm going to shout it out. G Depp official. At G Depp official. Follow him on Instagram. Matter of fact, Rec Mob, somebody put that in the chat room. You, you know I got to talk over my beats. Because these nasty niggas that try to rap on it and it can't rhyme. 
This that NREC Floyd 50 and 0. When Mayweather was retiring, they was playing this on Shea 4 5 heavy. Nerd. Produced by Crummy Beats. Look like they in the sticks, right? What up, Crummy Beats? Oh, yeah, it's M Rep. I'm gonna go to another video, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna get on my DJ tip. And I, I'm not trying to compete with Moschino or just DJ Superior, but it's a lot of records that I want to break. And I'm gonna do that. It's Funk Flex and, you know, self my man, but y'all not breaking records. A lot of y'all playing politics, been playing politics, but we gotta call it for what it is. Enough is enough with the politics, man. So in a minute, I'm gonna have an email where y'all can send your music in and it gotta be heat. And, and how I'm gonna do it for the first month or so, y'all ain't gotta pay no money. The only thing I want you to do is promote it on your social media. Feel me? So stay tuned for those announcements. And everybody say, Rick, why you give... Why you give back so much to the people? Why you give back so much to the community? Because I'm blessed. This is how you stay blessed. You know what I mean? Salute to the wreck mob. And all my beats always hard on my projects. Go get that M Rec Respect My Handle. Go get that M Rec Jux in the Votes Part 1 and 2 on all streaming platforms. Go get that. Spooky I was at in the Apple store. Best friends will be on that spooky I was at. Everybody keep asking for best friends because you know you can't get that nowhere. <laughs> Not even on Tubi. What up, you feel me? Baby? Let's get it, y'all. All right, we're going to go to another video. Uh, Let's go to this one right here. Another video. We picking up g Depp right now. We in the truck right now, picking up G-Dep. You know what I mean? We going through the tunnel right now. Feet knocking too. Ah. Uh, feet hard. New shit! Oh yeah, I know G-Dep got music coming soon. G-Dep! Welcome home! Welcome home, G Depp. You're live on MREC TV. It's feeling like a mixtape right now, right? Oh, yeah. If your beats ain't hard like this, just leave hip hop alone. If you ain't got hard drums, dope samples, it ain't hip hop. I'm sorry. It might be something else, but it ain't hip hop. Boom bap is hip hop. We picking up G Depp right now, y'all. Welcome home, G Depp. Let's go. Ah, uh, call me up. I'm taking calls, man. Three three one zero five nine eight two nine seven four. Oh yeah, Best Friends is fire, thank you. Best Friends is fire. It's gonna be on that Spooky Hours app. Y'all need to download that, because I'm gonna have a lot of exclusive movies. Of course, the Spooky Hours series and other people movies that got phenomenal movies. I got people sending me official movies that you never saw, so you wanna get that Spooky Hours app. Jamie Persona, that's my man right there. That man dropped a lot of money for donations just cause. I appreciate you. And he all the way from Toronto. I'm gonna go to another video, man, cause we picking up G-Dep, y'all. Brothers home. Come on, y'all. Are we, 
We on a location right now. Oh yeah, the IG, the MREC TV IG is MREC TV, at MREC TV. And my other page is at, at MREC GM. That's my personal. Look like she vibing to the music, right? Look like they vibing to the music. Ain't that crazy? Found that like button, man. G Deb is home, man. What we doing? Beat is knocking. Beat is knocking. And it's exclusive. It's an MREC exclusive beat. Uh oh. We got the Deacon on the line. Hold on. Let me turn the beat. Hold on, Deacon. Let me turn the beat down. And mute your audio, Deacon. Hold on. You know, you know the MREC room etiquette. Hold on, Deacon. I need to get a laugh in, so I'm glad the Deacon called. Deacon Weasel, you on the line. Salute to the rec mob. Talk to me, Deacon. Oh, yes, sir, brother, man. Tell O, uh, take this money. <laughs> take this money. Uh, G Del, yes, sir, brother. Oh, man, brother, I used to, man, you know what? I seen Omar Johnson doing the Harlem shake. And boy, in wreck, that Negro looked like a, a slushy in the dang, at a set in a 7 Eleven cup trying to shake them off. Yes, sir. I said, boy, look at here. Because you know he's shaped like a candy apple, brother. But uh, I guess that was back in the days when, when they used to club and stuff. But. Brother, I'm glad to see G Dep out. Him and uh him and Loom, man. They maybe they can get together, brother, but Loom look like a black Santa Claus with that big beard. <laughs> nah, it's beard. Yeah. I say this nigga look like Moses, a disciple, with that big old husky beard. Oh my good uh, yes, sir, man. Uh, man, and Red, dog, how your beard got, he got more beard than my baby mama got had on the top of her head. Her, she wow. don't grow edges like that. Yes, sir, brother. But boy, Loon got a nice put together beard. I said, this nigga right here, man. Yes, sir. Boy, look, I know he would eat lamb in the jail. But man, you know, hopefully, I mean, uh, G Dep don't get out because I know he, he, you know, coming out and talking and telling his sins. So he might end up, you know, P. Diddy, brother, he might end up, uh, I, I hope he don't use what Diddy did. It. But, you know, we just pray that he can just be good and do his thing. Yes, sir. And and you know, Embre, can I, can the deacon be honest with you today? Yeah, please, yes, sir. Uh, please, we, please, please be honest, deacon. Man, we, you know the rap music, brother. Maybe it's a sign like that brother said four calls ago. It might need to be destroyed because Embre, man, the the rap music now nowadays is so out of t out of touch. I don't even know how rappers even making money. I seen a rapper shaking the bell at, at Walmart. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, yeah, think you make the song Tipsy Roll? Yeah, he, yeah, brother. Yeah, that Negro brother. He he greets you with cars now. I say, boy, look at him. Yeah, that dang it. They stand in the Salvation Army, yeah. brother. And one thing I I noticed too, Emray, a lot of black men when they get rich, they 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 be broken back in the hood. It seems like, man, they have a football career. As soon as their legs get broken, yes, sir, they back looking in the deacon face, trying to ask me to get them a tip service job. I say, man, if you don't get your ass out, yes, out the way, I'm saying, yes, sir. Ties all these brothers making it, feeling on it, and then as soon as they touch it and see it, they ass back broke and they worse off than when they left. Man, look at him. So, you know, Emrec and youngsters, I hope y'all see all this crazy stuff going on, you know, and, 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 and just learn and try to be better because, man, you you know, man, I, I tell you, brother, 
and prison is not a, a college. See, I'm going to tell you, the deacon love that too, in Rick, because, boy, when you get out of prison in the black community, you get the big fish sandwich. Mama going to have them ribs laid mm-hmm. for you. You're going to get all the good cone. But your ass graduates from that college or you leave that army, you ain't getting paid no attention to. Mm. I say, boy, right is wrong in the Negro community, and, and, and wrong is right. So we got to stop praising evil doing and start celebrating and showing love to the folks that's doing the right things. Yes, sir. That's a fact. Yo, Deacon, look, I've been on this live a minute. I ain't eat no breakfast yet, right? So what I'm going to do, look, look, I wanted you to call up anyway, because anytime I go live, you always bring the humor. And I I, I need the the wreck mob. They love it. And what we're going to do, Deacon Weasel going to have a special soon. Trust me, because he put out a lot of content on my platform alone. I could do my own Deacon Weasel special. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that, and we're going to have him do a special special. You know what I mean? We're going to work everything out. You know what I mean? But Deacon, this is what I'm going to do. Um, Let me get something to eat. I'm going to go live in the next couple of hours. You know, maybe like an hour or two. Let me just get something to eat. And then, All right. and then you're going to tap back in and let's get back to it. Cause we got to work, brother. We got to work. We got, and, and one thing too, brother, before you get something to eat, make sure you mute, uh, mute the phone. Cause in break, remember that last time you were boo-booing and ah, uh, you were like, ah, oh, oh, yeah. like, oh, is T D in red house? I don't know, Paul. Oh, man. I, I, I thought that was a meat meal and P. Diddy video. I don't know what is going on. Boy, I know. Boy, man, I, I think Jose was finna bring the semi over there to stop this. You know what it was? You know how you be sitting? You know, I was sitting for like two hours. And you know, at the while. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The back of your legs, especially when you're sitting down. So I was trying to stand up. So I was like, ah, ah, shit. Like that. Like, you know? So you got to stretch. That's how Meek Mill sound in that video, bro. <laughs> that, 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 I how, that line. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a lot going on. I gotta, you're right. I gotta make sure I turn off the live and hit that mute button, man, because it'd it be a lot going on, man. I gotta definitely, because yeah. you, got, you got some people taking shots at me, yo, M Rec mom's you know screened on them not knowing that was that was my lady mad because i'll be speaking to five thousand ladies on the line so you know how it is because you know how it is ladies you you, you know even though the deacon been eight years without old baby mama i showed her what time oh yeah you know a woman come in her house from work Uh, uh, and then i'm on a line uh, look uh, look i'm on a line with five thousand females all types of females the the, you know what i'm saying the mature females the young joints the senior citizens so she driving she listening to it on on, you know while she on youtube you know and the females they putting on that voice you know what i'm saying they getting all moist yeah you know what it is (laughs) (laughs) Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what? Let the deacon take care of that part for you, because I told me some of the more more females. Yes, sir. I but got long you, as deacon. they ain't been, in, yes, sir. Uh, long as they ain't been at Joe Biden White House and did it part of the deacon ready to go on and enjoy him no, Yes, sir. I got, that good love. I, I got you, deacon man. You know the ladies stay over <laughs> yes, here sir. at Enrec TV. That's the thing too at Enrec TV. You know, deacon, in that chat room be nothing yes, but ladies. You know what I'm saying? That's a no. fact. Oh, oh, and see, you got ladies, brother, that where they real have, and Come that chat room, I like, and they nails clean, brother. They don't look like Grace Jones, or oh, they BBL don't cost more than they, they cost. That's, and that's his brother there, son, so you got a, a nice, put-together, middle-class middle, middle class chat-ass room, that's and I fact. like that. That's yes, a fact. Son. Yo, but Deacon, man, you know, I'm going to um, play this g Depp, um, you know, giving people... SJ, she did the uh, breaking news on G Depp, so I'm gonna play that. But I'm gonna tap back in like an hour, two hours later. I'm just get get me something to eat. All right, my brother. Yeah, hey, brother. You do your thing. Tap back, yes, sir. And y'all enjoy. Share that video. Hit the like. And All right. Deacon out. No doubt, Deacon. Pound that like button, y'all. I'm gonna play the uh breaking news of SJ covering the G Depp story of him coming home. And yeah, I tap back in. With y'all later, run the likes up. Let's let's get to it, y'all. I appreciate it. Make sure you download the Spooky Hours app right now. Leave a comment in the regular section for this live. Go to my um YouTube, 
go to the live section and find this video and leave a comment in the regular section in a few seconds. All right. So we're going to go to SJ, um, you know, giving us the breaking news. Let's do it. Let me mute this mic. It's SJ4 SJ in Rec TV News. All hip hop All hip hop reports. Ex bad boy, Ex -bad -bad -boy rapper G Dep released from released from prison. Rapper G Dep walked out of prison walked out of prison today, today after being after granted, being granted, being granted clemency, clemency by New York's by governor. New the one time, the one hit, -maker time hit maker born, born Travail Coleman, Coleman has officially, has officially been, granted been granted parole after more than, after a, more decade than a decade in prison. In prison. And, now and now he's ready to put, he's a, new ready to put a new plan in motion. He walked out he of walked Fishkill Correctional, out of Fish facility, Correctional facility in upstate New York, in upstate New York to, be to be greeted by his closest family, family members. The rapper, the rapper a, former a former artist, artist under, the, under influential the influential Bad Boy Records, Records label, label, received a sentence for a 1993 shooting that resulted in death. He confessed, he confessed to the crime, to the crime in, 2010, in 2010, a move a that, move led, that to led to his incarceration. His incarceration. In December, in December 2020, New York's governor approved Coleman's clemency, acknowledging his efforts toward rehabilitation. G. Depp was unaware that the victim had succumbed to the... My bad. It was an echo. I probably was supposed to hit mute. Did the echo stop? Oh, my bad. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> I was trying to play the, um, I'm going to just let the uh, video rock. All right. I'm off. What's up, my man? Oh, man. Oh. 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 Uh. The deputy. Amen. Amen. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all, pardon that echo, man. I'm still figuring out some technical things. Pound that like button. That's all I got for y'all for this live. I tap back in with y'all in an hour, hour and a half, two hours. Let me get something to eat. I appreciate y'all parting self on that echo. You know, I'm doing everything in, in real time when I'm live. But make sure you download that Spooky Hours app. The link is in the chat room. Go to the Apple store. Be off this, all right? Double deuces and bubble gooses. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all, man. Love is love. And um, yeah, I'll make the announcement when the um Spooky Hours app is in the Google store, the official app. And I'm gone. All right? Salute to SJ, my whole team. Peace. And we don't see the competition I drop off a ransom note that your art is missing, nigga uh -huh. Pays in full with the money Or she gon' get her fingers clipped off like Lil Sonny, uh huh? M-Rec TV